going to be showing today is how you create these very cute background for your Google Classroom banner, your header. Um, so let's get started. So there are two of them that I played around with and this is one that I was building. So I am going to show you from scratch how I start this. So the first thing you want to do is go to your to Google Slide. Okay, once I am in my Google Slide, what I'm going to do is press this plus. That way I could create a fresh new one. And this is what I get, right? So let's close that up. I am going to grab all of that, enter, and it deletes. I mean, enter, delete, and it deletes. So what I, the first thing you want to do before you start uh, working with the canvas is go to File down to page setup and you're going to custom go down to custom change your size your page size what we want or what google classroom wants is to, uh, 800 by 200 pixels so i'm going to apply and there goes my starting okay so i'm starting with this uh blank canvas so i'm going to click on background and now i'm going to choose a background by going to a Google image search. In the search, what you want to type is wall, oops, wall and floor background. Enter. And these are all the options that pop up, right? So you scroll until you find something that's appealing to you. If nothing is appealing here, then you would want to go to Google and just search from Google until you find something that you like. Okay, so I am going to choose this one here. I'm choosing it, it's going in, and that looks nice, I like that. So I have my floor, I have my wall. So now I'm going to start building my house. So what do I have in my in my room so what room do you want to build that's those are things that you should be asking yourself because if you want this to be maybe a computer room that should be your focus if you want it to be a living room that should be your focus so i'm going to be creating me working in my living room so i'm going to go to this insert image search the web and i am going to be searching and typing transparent image so i want transparent images but what specifically do i want now in between there i'm going to start with my couch so i'm going to do transparent couch image and all of these options pop up out of the options i'm going to pick what looks nice to me so i'm going to pick this this looks nice this looks cute and i'm going to work with this so i'm going to resize it place it where i want it and that looks nice there okay so next thing i want to input is maybe a corner table maybe some plants so let's put a table so i search transparent table image and again from here what looks appealing to you maybe i want to have my computer there i don't know so I usually start searching and if I don't really find anything that looks that nice, I'm going to pick this. Um, I search something else. So let's pick this round table. I'm going to resize it and place it somewhere there. Okay, so I'm slowly building my background. So what else do I want in my uh, living room? I want a door. So I'm going to search transparent door frame. And I am going to pick a door that looks nice to me. So I'm going to pick this door. This door looks, again, looks cute to me. I'm going to drag it and start putting it where I want it to go. Okay, so that looks fine there. Let me push it more that side. All right, so there's my door, there's my couch, and I'm slowly building this. So what else do I want in my in my uh, house? Maybe I want a window. 
So I'm going to search again, transparent, window, transparent, bookshelf. So I may have is I'm going to click on that and I'm going to crop it. So I'm cropping those books out of the way. So that way I have my bookshelf exactly what I'm looking for it to be. So I could resize it, maybe make it just a little bit smaller, make it a little bit bigger. And again, I'm slowly building my uh, scene, what I want in my background. Okay. So I like having pictures, so let's start searching transparent pictures. I am going to end up writing something in there. So let me get my shape and put it in there. And there we go. Okay, so now I could write something inside there. All right, next, what is it that we're going to input? What do we want? I'm done with this. Now what I'm going to add is myself. And what you're going to need for this step is you're going to need a Bitmoji extension. So I have my Bitmoji extension. It pops up here and you have all options. So you create yourself and you dress yourself, you do your hair however you want. And once you create your Bitmoji, you add it onto your Google Chrome. That way you could just drag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get a Bitmoji where I'm sitting. So here, this is a good one. Maybe I'm sitting and I'm just looking at them. Let me add myself in there. This is the most common one that I've been using. So I'm gonna resize myself, put myself somewhere there. And um, let me add my text to the back. So to add my text, what you're going to need is a text box. I want a text to go here and this is where I input my class so let's say algebra one i normally don't like this font so i start picking the font that appeals me so let's do something cursive i change the color i like purples i like blues so algebra one uh, maybe you want to add a bitmoji in there. Again, you get to decide, right? I'm going to do the same thing here. And in this frame that I, I have here, I'm going to say uh, working from home. Um, let's do maybe a blue this time. And let me center it. All right, so something like this. This looks nice. Again, whatever it is that you want. I like to have my uh, my class's name in there. Maybe you want to have office hours here. You want to add a computer. Uh, you could get as fancy or as simple as you want with these. But once I am done with my banner, what you have to do is you're going to go to File, and you're going to need to download this what you're going to need to do is download it as a jpeg so click that it's going to download at the bottom of your uh, google chrome now that i downloaded my image i want to go to my google classroom so let's go to my classroom i am going to input it into my sample class because i don't have anything there and to upload it, you're going to click on this upload photo and you're going to get it from the bottom. It's going to attach and it's going to change my background. So as you see, the background is uh, shaded, unlike how my original banner was. 
that is always something that Google Classroom does. So it doesn't matter what um, you upload. It's always going to give you that little shading. So just so you know.